Today, I'd like to make a video that I wish existed when I started getting into pilot pens. And that is to compare the soft nibs that pilot offers. Uh, but before we get into that, I wanted just to say a quick thank you for helping me reach over 500 subscribers. I didn't expect that many people to be watching and it's really encouraging to to have you along and hopefully you're enjoying these videos. I'm certainly enjoying making them um, when I have some free time. So thank you, really appreciate it. So, okay, so on the topic of Pilot Soft Nibs. So um, as I mentioned in a previous video, I'm going to try to make videos that are more theme based and themes that I, I personally find interesting and hopefully you will as well. Um, so when it comes to soft nibs, I think that Pilot makes certainly the largest range of what's out there. Um, they make three very distinct types of soft nibs. The first is what looks like a normal Pilot nib, but it's branded as S and then the nib width. So this is a SF for soft fine, but you can have soft medium, soft broad. And they make these nibs in a variety of sizes as well, from the number 5, this one is a number 10, and then they also make the number 15. The second family of soft nibs are these, um, the Falcon pens. So these come in only one nib size, but in different nib widths, so this one is a soft fine. I think they make a soft extra fine, not sure, but they definitely make a soft medium and a soft broad. So these come in the resin falcon, and here this is a metal falcon. Um, so even though this one is branded SF, this is a very different nib than the number 10 nib that I showed you earlier. And then finally, the third family of nibs is this FA nib and Pilot makes this in a number 10 and a number 15 size. So this is a number 10, which comes in pens like the 912, the 742, um, and then the number 15 size would come in something like a 743. This only comes in one width, so it's not branded, um, you know, fine, medium, broad, so it's just branded as FA, and that's because this particular nib, unlike the other two, does offer a significant amount of line variation. So from a width perspective, it's kind of a one size fits all, and then you get the variation when you write. So those are the three families. I'll, I'll show you a bit about how they write and then give you some thoughts about um, which one I like and for, for what purpose. But I wanted to set a bit of a baseline, and that is with Pilot Gold Nibs, they tend in general to have an inherent softness. So as a baseline, I wanted to show you this. This is the very standard number 15 nib on a Pilot 823. It's a very popular pen. And this was not a fine, this is not a soft nib. This is just a regular um, Pilot gold nib in a medium, I think. And the reason I bring this up is because Pilot gold nibs are not like for example, the nib you would find in a Parker dual fold, which is very firm, very stiff. Pilot Gold nibs inherently are a bit soft, but the soft nibs, the, the three actual soft nib families that Pilot makes are significantly softer than even their, their Gold nibs. So I'd like to show you that now. And I thought for a notebook today, I tried something a bit fun. Um, this is a notebook I bought in Tokyo um, a few years ago. I think it's called Mono Kakai. I'm not sure if that's the right pronunciation. I haven't seen these uh, widely available, so I thought it'd be fun to show you. It's not a particularly attractive notebook. I think it actually looks quite ugly. And the cover, you see the the quality of the paper they use in the cover is, is marginal at best, but this is actually a very nice notebook. So you can see inside it has this very nice velvet lining, um, and then the paper itself, I don't know what paper this is, uh, I don't know if it's their own paper, it's certainly not 
anything else I've used, so it's not like a Midori or it's not like Tomoe River. This is a, a medium weight and it feels like an uncoated paper. It's actually really nice. Um, and this notebook was actually quite expensive. It was uh, about $25 uh, in Japan. So you imagine, you know, that's more expensive than what a standard to Tomoyo River notebook would be out there. So I don't know what the pricing would be here in the US, but this is actually a fairly, fairly expensive notebook, fairly nice, but I thought it'd be fun to use this to show you the Pilot Soft News. All right, so um, I'll use this as a bit of a, I don't know what these are called, pencil boards or something? Um, it's just to make the writing a little bit easier. So let's start with the benchmark nib, which is just the standard pilot number 15. And I can't really write and talk at the same time, so excuse the pauses, or if I uh, write something incorrectly, I apologize. This is a number 15 medium. And this is a very smooth nib. And there's some softness. But this is not a soft nib. Um, you can see, very nice. This is actually, this is my favorite. writing nib of the pilot pens that I own. Um, this is their largest, I would call normal production size nib. Um, this is the number 15. Pilot nibs range from, at least the ones I've seen for the gold nibs, there's the, the number three, which is in things like the um, Stargazer or the Stella 90S is the international name. There's a number five, which um, that's in pens like the Pilot 74 and the 91, 92. Um, and then you have the number 10, which is in pens like the 912, uh, 742. And then you have the number 15, which is in pens like this, the 823, the 743. There are bigger nibs. Um, so when you get into the 845, it's actually a number 15 nib, but it's an 18 karat. Um, and then you have the pens like the, the number 30 nib, which comes in the uh, Pilot Custom Arushi. Um, and there's also a smaller version of the Emperor that uses the number 30. And then you have the number 50, which is on the Emperor. But in terms of normal production, I would say this is the range. And this nib is just uh, a real pleasure to use. It's one of my favorites in my collection, and it's my favorite writing nib from, from Pilot. So that's the benchmark. A little bit soft, but certainly not um, a soft nib. So the first soft nib, um, sorry, I'm gonna move my notebook, other notebook out of the way. Um, so the first nib I wanted to show you, this is the, the nib that looks just like a normal pilot nib, but it's a soft fine. So this one is a, Pilot 912 soft line. So this nib, it feels a little bit mushy. I'm not sure if that's a, a fair way to describe it because I'm not, I don't want to say this feels bad, but what I mean by mushy is it doesn't snap back um, very intensely. It just feels sort of soft when you write. So it actually feels a bit delicate. Um, it's very smooth. So I don't know if you can hear on the camera, there's not a whole lot of feedback. Um, it's very, very nicely tuned. Um, no hard starting, no skipping, none of that. And it's very pleasant to use, but this particular nib, um, in my opinion, you need to be a bit attentive um, when writing because it feels like, at least to me, you have to be very conscious of the amount of pressure you're putting because it has that delicate feel and it doesn't really snap back. It's um, There's a delicateness to when you write that 
um, for me personally, it takes a bit more effort to write. The other interesting thing about this nib is it actually feels like the larger pilot nibs. And what I mean by that is, um, sorry, I can't write and talk. So what I mean by that is this, the, the larger pilot nibs, like the number 30 and the number 50, those nibs have a bit of extra softness or they feel softer than uh, the smaller pilot nibs just because they're bigger. Um, and this pen, it feels a bit like the uh, the nib, the number 30 nib in the custom Arushi. Now, of course, it's, it's not as special as that nib, but if you're looking for like a much less expensive nib that feels kind of like um, what the nib feels like in, in something like a, a custom Arushi, this is what comes closest. It's a little bit, it feels delicate, it feels a little bit mushy, like I said, um, and definitely noticeably softer than the non-soft pilot nibs. Okay, so the next nib. So this one is the pilot. or also known as the Metal Falcon. This is also a soft fine. Um, by the way, this, this ink up here was uh, Pilot, the Urushizuku Shinkai, and this is Kanpeki. So I don't know if you can hear, but this nib has noticeably more feedback. Very pleasant, it's not scratchy at all, but it has more feedback than the other nib. The other thing I find uh, more important or more um, important in terms of describing the feel of the nib, this nib is not mushy. This nib is extremely springy. So this makes it easier for this nib to write um, on a daily basis for, for me. So this is a much better daily writer. And those of you who watched my previous vi videos, you probably know that this, this pen is in my daily rotation. Because I really do like the way this writes from a day-to-day -day perspective. You don't really have to think about it. It's just, you don't have to think about writing. You don't have to be super conscious about how much pressure you're putting on the page. It just writes. Um, it's, it's very nice. The other thing I will say is, a lot of people have this misconception that soft nibs are built for line variation, and that's not true, at least not the pilot soft nibs. Um, these are not um, the, the soft line in the 912 and the soft line in this Metal Falcon. They're for the feel of, of the, the writing experience. They're not for line variation. So if you see, if you look at the, um, the S's that I made here, you can see there's really no line variation to, to speak of. Um, they do offer a bit of shading though. So because of the softness, it sort of varies the amount of ink that, that goes on the page as you write. So one cool thing about the soft nibs is that they offer, in my experience, more shading um, as you write than the non-soft nibs. Um, and the other thing I wanted to mention about this nib is um, in terms of comparison to Western nibs, this feels like the Mont Blanc 149 calligraphy. I know that's a pen that this community is very familiar with, um, a grail pen for many people, including myself. Um, this pen, the Mont Blanc, is built for line variation. But when you write with um, the pen on a day-to-day -day perspective, the tension and the springiness feels a lot like this um, Metal Falcon. And this, the Mont Blanc is, you know, one of the pens that I think is one of the all-time greats. So um, certainly praise for, for this pen. Um, so this Metal Falcon is the, of the Pilot Soft Nibs, the one that I feel is most suited for daily use uh, and really a pleasant writer 
um, with very pleasant feedback. Okay, let's turn this over. Cool. So the last pen is the famous, infamous, uh, most controversial nib, I would say. Uh, if you read about the different posts online, people either seem to really like or really hate this nib. Um, but this is the Pilot FA. And of the, the three nib families, this is the only one that really is designed to give you some line variation. I'm putting very little pressure on the page and you can see it's a pretty significant amount of line variation. It doesn't give you as much line variation as a vintage flex nib or even um, the Mont Blanc, the 149 calligraphy that I mentioned earlier, but it is extremely soft. So you can see it's a very thin line if you don't use pressure, but as soon as you use just a little bit of pressure, it really does open up. So this is extremely soft. So this is a fun nib to write. Um, you can, you know, write calligraphy with it. It's kind of fun. But in terms of um, a pen to use as a daily writer, this just is not it for me. It's it's actually, I find this nib a little bit difficult to control when you're just handwriting. So when you're trying to write just normally, like if you're trying to take notes or something like that, it almost feels like you're using a brush. I mean, that's exaggerating a bit, but it does have that feel. It just feels like the nib is just giving way on the paper. So a very cool nib, but not for daily writing, at least not for me. So there you have it. So those are the three types of soft nibs that Pilot makes. Um, they are very different. I think it's very cool that Pilot makes all three families. Um, I like all three, but in terms of uh, daily writing and the one I use most, um, I tend to stick with the, the Falcon nib. All right, well, hope that was fun. Um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.